right, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come. You're in the wrong place. Well, isn't this Monte Carlo? No. Oh. Uh, right. So, ladies and gentlemen, prepare now for the 2011 Mini John Cooper Works World Rally Car. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, and here are the drivers, Danny Sordo, Chris Meek. This is the moment, and now the world can see it. I think everybody can show that the car is really, really nice, and the performance it will be really good too, but the car honestly is, looks really impressive. From uh, the beginning of testing last September, we had a, a really good feeling with the car. The chassis in particular is, uh, you know, I think, a really strong point. And, uh, but okay, we have still a little bit more testing to do before the first rally in Sardinia. And motorsport is very much part of our business. And uh, if we look back uh, all those decades ago to the 60s, where Mini had all of its success and uh, you know, three great Monte Carlo wins, once we'd launched the Countryman, and the Countryman was the first four-wheel drive, four-door, and effectively a Mini over four meters long, it was a natural progression for us to actually introduce this back into rallying. And of course, uh, this year uh, we'll mark that event. We launched the Countryman at the back end of last year, so we had a product which I think is very appropriate. But as you say also, the regulations changed. It made it a more competitive entry, so the fact that the engines uh, changed also took a lot of cost out of the business and that made it much more attractive for us as well. It's about it with two objectives. We said, well, we want to have success in the World Championship and we've set out our timetable over the next few years, but we also said we wanted to um, supply our customer base with cars as well worldwide so that it wasn't just exclusive to us. You know, we wanted many customers around the world to be able to compete in their national championships as well. So we designed a car with that objective. And so what are the features here that people should look out for? Well, obviously the main, one of the main changes is the engine this year is um, reduced down to 1600 from, uh, yeah, 1600 turbocharged um, direct injection unit as opposed to the 2 litre turbocharge from um, the previous generation rally car. One of the striking features, I guess, instantly is the roll cage. Um, you will notice that it goes outside of the B-pillar, which um, not only improves the safety, but also gives the driver a feeling of, of space. Normally it's quite a confined cockpit in sort of traditional, traditional roll cages, whereas this one sort of opens up and it, uh, it really is quite spacious.